Hello, camera on a tripod. Today we're starting in Plumas County at a Darlingtonia site that uh, Beth and I found on a previous expedition. We're around seven and a half miles away from Butterfly Valley, elevation of around 4,400 feet. The job today is to try to get up 15 miles on this bumpy dirt road to what might be another Darlingtonia site. Then if I've got time, to even look for something beyond that. Well, I've reached the site, at least the historical location for this site. Looks great, orchids, flowing water. Unfortunately, this area has been just completely devastated by mining claims. There's holes dug in the water flow, so what was probably a trickling glade is now just a big, huge borrow pit with uh, nothing, uh, nothing but some uh, submerged macrophytes growing in there. No Darlingtonia. So, this site is gone. This has got to be the most god-awful, depressing place I've seen in years. I guess this used to be Darlingtonia habitat, but unconstrained mining has turned this into a barren landscape of rock piles and gouges. Well, amazingly enough, the water coming down this hillside has moved its way through the gouges and rock piles and come together to make a tiny little stable oasis right here and there's one little patch of Darlingtonia here and another little patch of Dar Darlingtonia there. Only ones I found. Maybe there's some more downstream. I hope so. This is, this is depressing. A few drops for rotundifolia and flower. Granted, it's not much. But, hey, I'm happy to find anything around here. Large numbers of Drosphora rotundifolia hiding in the reeds. Well, I'm running about 45 minutes ahead of schedule. So in order to uh, wash the taste of that hydraulic mining site out of my mouth, I figured I'd uh, descend this slope and see what I can find down there. Got some, some records that indicate there might be a Darlingtonia site down there. I don't know, but at least it'll be a nice scramble. While this is an extremely pretty little stream cascading down these rocks, it's too uh, constricted, and that means that in the spring the snowmelt waters are going to come screaming down this and scour out any weakly rooted plants, and that means Darlingtonia. So I really don't think I'm going to find any Darlingtonia on this stream flow, but I'm going to have to hike it back up because in that direction way uphill there is where my car is. A lot of hiking and what did I see today? Well, I got to see what hydraulic mining it does to the landscape. I visited three Darlingtonia sites. First site looked like it had been ripped out and just turned into a bunch of ponds. Second site, three plants barely hanging on. There's some Drosphora rotundifolia there though. That was nice. And really, hey, a Darlingtonia site and Drosphora rotundifolia site. That's not so bad. And not that bad at all. And then I looked at that stream. Uh, I couldn't find anything along the stream flow but that had enough inter interesting indicators there that I'm going to go back and see what I can find. Newspaper. 
blotter paper, cardboard. Well, a lot of hiking. What did I get today? 